I'm digging the Starbucks Nitro Cold Brew in the can. Not bad at all. This is the uh, dark chocolate caramel sweet. I actually like the uh, plain black ones and the one with the sweet cream I really like, but this is all they had at Walgreens and I needed my fix because we didn't leave the house until kind of late today and CC's was already closed. They closed at seven or eight and by the time we finished dinner, we went and had tequilas. I got the ta tacos de carne asada as usual. So yeah, I'm uh, actually on the backwards day sleep schedule. I can't remember the last thing I checked in for. Probably the Bath and Body Works haul. Um, yeah, the the other body spray was indeed in the back of Lila's car. So she brought it to me day for yesterday. And me and her went to Texas Roadhouse and pigged out. Like, I think we had at least four three rolls a piece. <laughs> uh, she tore up her up uh, like a, what, 18 ounce steak? I had a little six ounce steak and their sweet potatoes, the loaded sweet potato, it has caramel sauce and marshmallows crisped, toasted onto the top and dear God, it is so good. But our friend Casey works there and she got us on the wait list so we didn't have to wait for a seat. Cause Texas Roadhouse is a madhouse every night of the week. We went on, I think, a Wednesday night, which is usually not a busy night anywhere. Texas Roadhouse, however, it is always insane, no matter what time you go. So, yeah, I think we had gone, no, we went Tuesday night because it was the day before the mask mandate kicked in. And yes, our mask mandate is back here in Louisiana. And we are number one in the country for cases. Again, go us. At least we can win at something. <laughs> No, it's, uh, it's pretty bad here, so we are uh, probably going to go back into a lockdown, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, masks are back, baby. Anyway, uh, yesterday I ran to Target and just been, not really doing anything exciting. I did try the Starbucks uh, Shaken Almond Dark Chocolate Espresso thing. That was delicious. I like their almond milk for some reason. I don't know what it is about Starbucks almond milk and coconut milk. It tastes so much better than what I buy at the store. I don't know why, but I actually, like the first drink I took, I was kind of like, mm, I don't know if I like this, but then as I drank it, I'm like, nah, I like this. So yeah. Anyway, I'm uh, getting ready to film a video, but I wanted to show you a few things that I did buy at Target and Walgreens this evening. Also, we are burning a candle that, oops, you had already. This candle was left at my friend Lila's house when she moved out. This was... It was almost a full candle at that point. I've been burning it. But it is called Manly Indulgence. Ivy League poured in the USA with notes of lavender thyme and a white musk. It smells like cologne and I like it. But I just love Manly Indulgence. <laughs> it's so stupid. Like it's just the cheesiest fucking thing. But it smells really nice and has a good scent throw. So there we are. So Target. Target had... The new Elf collection already on clearance at my Target. The uh, one they did with like, I can't remember what it's called, Electric Mood. They just got it in stock and it was already gone. The palette was gone, the eyeshadow palette. So, and my friend David who works there, he checked to make sure they didn't have any in stock. They were gone. I have two friends that work at Target because we're Target people apparently. <laughs> and Texas Roadhouse people. It's good to have friends. It's places that you frequent. Anyway, so I did get majority of the rest of the collection though. So from e.l.f. I picked up the e.l.f. Electric Mood Glassy Skin, Glassy Skin Balm in Ice Cold. This is in collaboration with Tove Lo. She is the only musician I'm familiar with from this collection and that's just because my friend Brooke absolutely loved that one song that was really popular. She played on the jukebox all the time. Was it high all the time or something like that? I don't know, but I like the way it says on the side here, gritty is pretty. So she likes some grunge vibes. Cool. I think she's Swedish, isn't she? Anyway, so I'm, I'm going to crack into this, see what it's like. This is what it looks like in the uh, packaging. Packaging's nice. Everything's sealed up go too good. I have to get my, my snizzers after it. So let's crack into this. I was really intrigued by this glassy skin balm business. I want to know how it feels on the skin, if it's going to be like balmy feeling or if it's going to feel nice. I'm I'm very curious. Very nice packaging. Good compact. Very pretty. Why did I sniff it? <laughs> okay, this is literally just a clear balm. Feels nice. 
it feels it doesn't really feel sticky okay that's cool yeah it actually feels pretty nice it doesn't feel sticky at all like at first i thought it was gonna feel like vaseline or something but no it feels pretty good on the skin i imagine this is pretty similar to the patrick ta one that gives a really nice sheen on my hand not that you can see it on camera next i got the little electric mood palette here and i'm not going to say her name because i'm going to mispronounce it but i will put it on the screen <laughs> I'm going to so mispronounce her name and I don't want to do that but this is so pretty this is the De La Soul cream face quad two blushes bronzer and highlighter this looks gorgeous I love the shades that she chose in this I think they're so pretty and I've heard excellent things about Elf's little cream palettes before like their cream blushes and stuff and I had one not just like the putty one but I previously had one of their old ones it was a NARS dupe it was like a, a dupe for one of their cream duos. I freaking love it. I still have it. It's stupid old, but I still have it because I really enjoy it quite a bit. Again, very pretty. Very, very pretty. This is what it looks like. Very pretty. And I picked up two mascaras also while we're at it. I got the uh, Lash Out Loud to try and then the new one, which is the Big Mood Mega Volume Lifting Mascara with the Hourglass Brush. And I think this one has one of those spiky, yeah, spiky brush I hate. <laughs> but I want to try them both out and kind of compare and contrast and see which is which, which is I like the best. This is really pretty. Like, I like this purple. It reminds me of the Bite Upswing, the way it looks. I just, I like the way it looks. It's nice. And I think this one's really nice looking too, just the component. Looks very kind of elevated. I picked up the Illumination, Illuminating Elixir. Priming Serum. This is in collaboration with Tiana. Oh, Tiana Major 9. And yeah, I think, isn't that packaging gorgeous? This I'm going to use kind of as a primer on the face today, I think. Oh, this is really well packaged. Oh, this is glass. Wow, glass. It's got like this pretty chrome coating on it. This is beautifully crafted. Like, dang, Elf. This looks like very luxe. And then from also with Tiana Major 9, we got the Elf Electric Mood Lip Duo Real and Affair. So this is a lip liner and glittery lip gloss, which looks really pretty. The lip liner attracted me because it's a brown lip liner. And you know how I feel about brown lip liners. Elf has been doing a few of those lately. I think in the Retro Paradise, they had like three brown shades in it. And I love those. I use them pretty frequent, frequently. Uh, they're just really nice, kind of neutral, nudie browns. Again, great. Lovely packaging on all this stuff. Like very not cheap feeling. I mean, it's plastic, but it feels very thought out. Like, like they put some effort into this. And all oh, this was half price at my local Target. So check your local targets if you're interested in this. Wow, this gloss, uh, this is like chunkier than the normal glosses. Like it, yeah, it's bigger and just feels a little bit more substantial. Again, I've got the pretty ombre, the lime green and teal. Very pretty. This has like multicolor kind of holographic or not iridescent glitters within it. And it's just a clear gloss. Oh, look, it's got the big old doe foot. Well, look at you, elf. Ooh, it's got like a pretty purple flash in it. Very pretty. Can you see that? Like blue to purple flash I got there. Mmm, I'm excited. I like a good like dual chromatic kind of alien looking gloss. I just think they're so pretty. And then I got the Elf Electric Mood and Tove Low Disco Glitz Brow and Eye Kit. It has a glitter and like a brow pomade situation here. Looking forward to testing that out. I'm curious to see if it's also going to be like the Patrick Ta brow pomade stuff because this right here reminds me of the Patrick Ta glossy skin balm that he has. So I'm wondering if this is going to dupe it or maybe be like the brow freeze from ABH. I don't know. I haven't really seen anybody talk about this. Am I going to put the glitter in my eyebrows? Fuck no. I don't know what I'm going to do with the glitter. Okay, it's just a glitter paste type of product. I, I think you can use this not just on the uh, brows. You could probably put this anywhere you want. Some glitter. But yeah, it just feels like kind of those glitter gel products like uh, when we were kids. <laughs> or like Elf has, you know, or not Elf, uh, ColourPop has the glitter gel type of business. You could probably put this in your hair and be really pretty. But yeah, just nice iridescent glitter. Same as what's in the lip gloss. That's cool. Now we got the pomade here. 
which is clear. It's the clear pomade stuff. It feels, oh, <laughs> it just popped on out of there. Okay, no smell. <laughs> I just sniff it. Why do I throw the instructions away? There might be instructions for that. Let's see here. Use clear brow bar. Oh, included brow spoolie to make upward outward brush strokes for maximum fluff, black glitter. So do I not wet that for feathery brows? It doesn't say anything about having to wet the product. So I guess you just kind of work it in there. That's really dry. Like, okay. Here's a spoolie. Oh, this is cute. And you got a little brush on the end here. Now this is gonna be perfect for doing brows because I could use this for tidying up with a little concealer. Nice little spoolie. Okay, let's see. If I just work it around in here, does it do anything? No, it's just wiggling around. I don't think I'm getting like any products. Are you sure you don't have to wet this? Like that's not doing anything. Oh, where'd my box go again? Oh shit, I lost it. Okay, I'm gonna Google this to see if it needs to be like wet or something. Cause it really did not say. And I don't know if that's like, it's supposed to be that hard. This feels like candle wax. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we'll we'll Google that and look on the website and see what it says about it. Because that's very, like, dry. I'm not sure what, how you use that. Okay, so I'll, I'll look that up. Oh, the lip liner. I forgot to show you that. Cute little lip liner. Oh, it's a pretty little thing. It's, like, iridescent. Ooh, that's a deep chocolatey burgundy brown. Oh, it's got like a, a purple to it. Oh, so pretty. Oh, that'd be pretty on the eyes too. And last thing I did pick up from e.l.f. at Target was the Acne Fighting, Acne Fighting Putty Primer because I'm just curious. I really want to check it out. I'm, I bought all the putty primers, so I might as well check this one out too. I like the matte one the best, honestly, for my T-zone. And I really enjoy the illuminating one for like my high points in my face. I've been using those two in conjunction and I just use the original one to like clean up fallout because it's not my favorite. But I'm curious to see how the acne fighting one works. It has salicylic acid in it. So yeah, 1.8% salicylic acid. So I think that might just be a good thing to use on one's face to help, you know, prevent blackheads and acne and all that jazz, which you know, I have very congested skin. So I thought this might be a great primer to incorporate into my routine. It's got a pretty green matcha shade. Looks like matcha. Oh, well, lighter than matcha, but no distinct smell. Feels just like the others. Very smooth. Uh, while I was in Target, I was over getting my purple conditioner and shampoo, which I've already used. <laughs> but I picked up these from Kristen S, which is my favorite, hands down favorite purple shampoo and conditioners. These two right here. This is called the One Purple Conditioner and Purple Shampoo. They have a beautiful scent. They actually work. They don't dry your hair out. They tick all the boxes. And for this big boy, it's $24 a piece, about 25 rounded up. But the heavy, you could use these to work out. Um, yeah, I, I really, really enjoy this shampoo and conditioner so much. The scent is beautiful and they are actually effective. They really do tone down brassiness and they're just lovely. And I also picked up this cute little hair scrunchie with a ribbon. It's untied, but it is just the freaking cutest thing ever, right? I love this color. This color, I just fell in love. This shade of green. Okay, this is a scrunchie scarf duo, so you can take the scarf off completely and just wear it on its own. Or this, I like doing little low ponies with these little guys. I just think it's so dang cute. And I think Kristen S's little hair accessories are so pretty. And I just, I had to have it. I, I just saw it and was like, I need this. <laughs> I love this color so much. It's such a beautiful emerald, deep emerald green. And I fell in love. I did also get a backup of my e.l.f. All Nighter setting spray mist because I love this mist. It's one of my favorite drugstore setting sprays next to the natural finish from Wet n Wild. And that one I find to be pretty effective. So moving on to Walgreens. Um, as you guys know, I have been on a little self tanning journey. So I decided to get me some Bondi Sands, <laughs> actual like self tanning foam. I got light medium. This is Swan Salon quality coconut scent made in Australia. 
So yeah, I've tried this out already. I have, I'm currently marinating in it right now, which is why I am such a bronze goddess. Look at me, look how tan I am. This is just like the indication shade, so I don't know what it's gonna look like once I rinse it off. But I believe it says you can leave it up to six hours, so that's what we're doing. Um, I put on the tanning mitt, actually got my husband to go over my back a little bit, back of my legs, help me make sure it was even, because I'm not well versed or very good at this. This is the first actual tanning mousse I've ever used. But I saw it on a, just a whim at Walgreens and it was like $16 and pretty decent size amount of product. I've heard good things about Bondi Sands. So I was like, well, hell yeah, let's give this a go. And so far I'm liking the way it looks. <laughs> but then again, you know, I haven't washed it off yet. I don't know the staying time or anything like that, but it did have a pleasant scent. It didn't stink, it didn't smell weird. It doesn't really feel sticky on my skin, feels all right. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the final results of this guy. I'm just gonna marinate in it while I film. <laughs> and since I got the tanner, and I have been using my tanning drops, I'm using Isle of Paradise and the Tanologist one and giving myself some color. None of my foundations match me <laughs> now. And even without the tan, my normal foundations are veering a little bit too pale for me. So I went ahead and picked up the H Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. This is one of my favorite foundations. And I have it in the shade ivory which is the lightest shade typically so i picked up golden ivory which is i think two or three shades up from this one so it's a bit darker i don't know if you can really see that on camera the difference but i think this shade's gonna work better for me right now so what the heck let's try it if it's too dark i can mix it with that one and lighten it up vice versa so yeah pick that up and then i got the corresponding concealer the radiant creamy the aged perfect radiant concealer and i picked this one up in the shade 210 nude beige and yeah a little bit deeper because all my concealers are definitely too light for me right now and they just look very stark and uh, I thought this would be a better option for me color wise and I think the formula felt really nice on my when I swatched it so yeah I'm gonna try that out this is the first time I'm using the concealer from the range but I'm a big fan of the serum foundation like big fan it is probably one of my absolute favorites that one and the number seven protect and perfect and bare minerals original liquid foundation are kind of my my holy trinity of <laughs> foundations and if i had not purchased enough primers because honestly look we got putty primer and then this prim uh illuminating primer business apparently i needed another primer <laughs> so i got the wet and wild impossible priming base primer base the one silicone free primer that does it all I mean those claims I had to try it I gotta test this out and see it's supposed to like do everything it is supposed to mattify and hydrate blur pores prep skin for long-lasting makeup and is impossibly silicone free I, I don't really care that much about it, if it has silicone or not but I've heard good things so I really did want to just test this out and see I'm a bit primer crazy right now like I have four putty primers <laughs> sitting up here I've got a marshmallow primer I love like what what is happening here and don't judge me but an another primer <laughs> I, this is a backup because I heard this is getting discontinued this is the magic perfecting base from L'Oreal they had L'Oreal on sale by the way that's why I bought all L'Oreal stuff <laughs> I love a sale but yeah mine this is my holy grail primer and look she she scraping the edges here so I went ahead and picked up another one just to have on standby, I should have bought the other, the, the last one they had. They only had two of these, but here I am. And because it was like buy one BOGO deal, I also got a Flash Cat liquid liner, which is also my holy grail favorite liquid liner. This is a fantastic liquid liner. So long wearing, so good, so easy to use. Matte black, just all the things that you want from a liquid liner, the Flash Cat has. And it has this stupid little stencil thing that is completely useless it's a good liner though and lastly i got another one of my gel setter top coats from essie because i needed a new one i use mine up because i give myself many manicures so yeah that is what i have been up to the last few days and uh update on the cat adoption situation we are going to be able to go get the cat this Saturday at 10.30. 
Um, Lila got to speak with the foster family of the kitty kitty. Her name is Pebbles. <laughs> I'm getting all hyped up on coffee is what I'm doing. But you, yeah, yeah, we're picking up the cat. Saturday, hopefully. Hopefully. She's a beautiful little gray tabby calico kind of swirly business. She's so pretty and she looks so sweet. And my friend Amy got two kittens. Oh my gosh, they are the cutest little things. <laughs> One's a little tuxedo black and white tuxedo kitten and he's a little tiny little runt his name is dexter and then <laughs> the other kitty i don't think they're from the same litter because they look so completely different um this one has like big old feet and the little hairs coming out of its ears it's real fluffy and he's gray and i think he's like maine coon or something he is so so cute he looks like a pure breed kitty and his name is Amos, and he is an adventurous little nosy piglet. Dexter's a little, he's very timid and sweet, and he just wants to like lay on your chest and cuddle. But Dex, uh, Amos is pretty friendly too, and he like let me love on him and look at him, give him kisses. He, and he's so fat. His little feet are so big. He is going to be a big cat. And he's so adventurous and exploring and brave. Like, Artie is jumping up on the countertops and stuff, and they're only a few weeks old. Like, they're just now on to, like, real food. Like, they they just got weaned off of, like, formula. They're that little. They're teeny tiny. Like, they're just now getting where they play and stuff. We don't even know if they're actually boys. That's how little they are. But <laughs> Dexter and Amos. And she has another cat named Frances. And Frances is the funniest cat. Like, she is... <laughs> such a little shit. She's one of those cats that just attack you at random and just think it's funny to do that. Like, you'll be petting her and she'll just go, Nyeh. she thinks it's a, she's playful, but she's just very rough, playful. Like, she chases Amy around the house and it's hilarious. But it's just, she's playing. She's not being mean. And it's, it's just pretty funny. I love kittens. But uh, my husband's like, Deathly allergic to cats and just about anything these days. So no kitties for us. So we got the pumpkin. Plan today though is I'm going to film a video. Then we're going to take pumpkin to get her nails done in the morning. And then take her to CC's because she'll earn herself a little pup cup. And I don't know what else. Uh, probably I think tomorrow is nail day. It should be because my nails have grown out so bad. They're about three millimeters long grown out which is a lot. I have more growth than what most people get in like four weeks. My nails grow stupid fast. And they always have, but since I've been on probiotics and like taking better care of myself, they are growing insane. And I'm not even taking like biotin or anything like that. I'm just taking a probiotic and I have seen such a huge difference. And the nail strength has been so much healthier too. Like I can tell a big difference and I feel like my hair has been growing better and just skin just seems better like I don't feel like I need as much skincare because I feel like my skin's just really good like I'm not having breakouts and stuff but anyway yeah my face is very tan from the, the tanner as well I just used what was residual on the uh mitt and just kind of pat it on that's what it said to do on the instructions and the same to do on the tops of your hands and feet knees elbows I kind of fucked up this elbow <laughs> I forgot what I was doing and just went right over it. But this one is better. I don't know why. I have like this kind of tough skin right here. Just above my elbows. It's like kind of thick. Just tough skin. It's not necessarily dry or anything. It's just different texture. And it's not actually on my elbow. But things always cling right there. And I have it also right here on just this one patch on my arm. The skin here is like thick. I don't know why. And it's just this one little patch right here and the skin is thicker and the, I get a patch of black hair just right there. Nowhere else. It's not on the other wrist. My mom had the exact same thing. <laughs> it is so strange and it, it feels like, like just so rough and hairy compared to the rest of my arm. <laughs> and it's like pure jet black hair. So I shave it and try to exfoliate it down so it feels better. But I noticed if, if I didn't shave it or like scrub at it, I was getting some clinging on that little weird patch. And you can still see it right here. A little bit of darkness. That is right there. Yeah, I'm going to call this stuff kind of get situated here. Film a video. I want to do a look with the Rebel Rouge losing my religion palette. So that's what I'm going to get up to. 
and just let my tan marinate while I film. <laughs> and we'll see how I end up looking tomorrow. Will I be orange? Will I be a nice bronzy shade? I do like the color it is right now, so I'm hoping it's kind of like this. This is way less orange than my tanning drops. I think I'm a little bit more partial to the Isle of Paradise ones. The tone of it's just a little bit better, but I enjoy the Tanologist ones. I just found it really hard to do my legs. I feel like my legs always got kind of streaky and patchy a little bit. And a lot of that was human error because you're mixing it with lotion. I have a hard time lotion soaking into my legs. I feel like it just sits on top of my skin and doesn't like absorb like it's supposed to. And uh, that's just my experience with lotion on a whole. So I feel like it was just more the lotion getting squished around and not getting worked into my skin well enough. And I would sit there and work it in and work it with, and I, I was using a mitt. The mitt did help and I used less lotion. And I had better results where um, some people are saying more lotion. I'm like, girl, if I use more lotion, it's going to wipe all off of me and not work. And that's what would tend to happen. It would just kind of patch off because the lotion was getting rubbed off of me. And it didn't matter if I did it during the day, at night, whenever. I had better luck at, with it at night, actually. But I feel like, you know, just things touching me would rub it off. So, but on my arms, it worked fantastically and like my chest and face, it did great. It was just, I was having some trouble with the legs and it was more just, I think, human error. <laughs> but hopefully this works out. I got my husband to help me get the backs of my legs and make sure it was all even and smooth and around my back of my neck and upper shoulder area where I can't usually get to. So I don't have a, a patch where it just stops. So if I'm wearing like a tank top, it doesn't look ridiculous. I actually did get the tanner in my mouth. It does not taste good. Oh gosh, I accidentally got my face wash. I'm using one from Ursa Major. Uh, I was sent, which I'll uh, I'll have to update you on that one later and show it to you because it's really a really nice face wash. But, oh, it got in my mouth and it was so gross and it lingered for so long. Oh, it was so bad. It was so bad. But it washes. It feels. It's a, a great cleanser though. And um, they sent me a moisturizer that I am loving. It is a fantastic moisturizer. So good. So good. And it's all like herbal and like natural ingredients. Very clean. They're like a negative plastic brand. How are you negative? What does that mean? Somebody explain to me what negative plastic is. Does that mean that they recycle so much plastic that they produce none and are taking plastic from other things. Like, I think I kind of get what they're mean, but that's pretty cool. It's a cool brand. Ursa Major, I've heard of them. Um, I know they make a really good deodorant. And anyways, they had sent me uh, the face wash and some makeup, or like some face wipes and the moisturizer. I've only used the makeup wipe once, or it's not a makeup wipe, it's a face wipe and kind of a toning wipe. Like it's just to like freshen up throughout the day. So it's not for like removing makeup or anything. It's just for like wiping like sweat off and stuff like that. I think it has like witch hazel in or something. So I don't have an opinion on those yet. But I do like the face wash and I really like the lotion or the, the face cream. It is gorgeous product. It smells very herbal. That That's probably my only like complaint about it is because it smells very herbal. And I don't love things that smell like herbal. They're good products. Anyway, okay. I need to shut up and talk in another video because I've kept you long enough, but um, I'll bring you along on Saturday if we get a kitty and if I do anything else exciting throughout this week, I'll uh, take you along with me. I need to go to makeup things. Yeah. Whatever. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Okay. Just finished up filming a little while ago. I have done got sleepy. And I need to go wash my tan off and wash my face, but this look, I mean, I used all the e.l.f. products in the Rebel Rouge uh, Losing My Religion palette. Mm. Everything was so good. So good. I am so impressed with these new e.l.f. products. They're so nice. Um, I do want to just quickly, I mentioned the uh, Ursa Major face wash and lotion. I just wanted to show them to you real fast. Before I go take a bath, wash all this off, and have me a little nap. Uh, this is the little face wipes right here. They are 4-in-1 wipe. It cleans, exfoliates, smooth, soothes, and hydrates. Any time to reboot dull, tired, oily skin. Perfect for sprucing up at the office after a workout or on the go. 
So yeah, it's those. And then this is the little face wash. These are obviously minis. Um, this is a luxurious concentrated face wash. Delivers invigorating cleanse with plus a hit of age exfoliant without stripping the skin of moisture and messing with the pH balance. Activate with warm water, massage into damp skin. For extra hair exfoliation, leave on 30 to 80 seconds, rinse well. Really like this face wash, but this little guy right here, this is the moisturizer. This little dude is like packed to the brim too. It's gonna take me a little while to get through it. Cause they give you, there's a lot of product in this little dude. And this is so nice. This is called the Golden Hour Recovery Cream with Sea Buckthorn and Calendula. It is awesome. It is applied a dime size amount to clean skin. Incredibly nourishing yet face absorb fast absorbing face cream. It is exactly that. It's very nice. Um the wipe I really don't have much opinion on. It's the wipe. But these two are fantastic products and they're like super clean, um, vegan, cruelty free, all the good things. They're very uh eco friendly type of products and brand. And yeah, I'm really impressed with these two products. I quite like them. So I'm going to use this again when I go wash my face. And I'm just going to rinse my tan off in the bath. I want to see if the water turns brown. Is that weird? I need to scrub at my knuckles here. I accidentally did the knuckles. Just the one hand. Well, no. It's worse on the one hand. The one hand's more brown. But I just where I was like touching my leg and stuff. And it just rubbed off on me. Because I wore my little mitt. So I, I'm new with this. What can I say? So anyway. Yeah, I'm going to go do that. Also, I'm really impressed with this brow business here. The little pomade. You do wet the spoolie. You wet your spoolie or you wet this and rub it in there. That wasn't on the packaging, but it's on the website. So yeah, it's basically soap brows. It's what it is. But it works really well. And my brows aren't, they're not falling down. So I'm, I'm yes, awesome. Good morning, guys. Oh my goodness, I am up in the morning, back on my day schedule. Is my lip a little too vampy for today? Probably. But guess what? I did all cream business except for a little bit of eyeshadow <laughs> and a little powder on the eyes. But this is all the Electric Mood collection from uh, e.l.f. <laughs> I couldn't think. On the complexion anyway. The little palette and the balm. I did the brow pomade. I like that brow pomade. But yeah, you do have to wet it. So, But it works great. Um, yeah, this is the look for today. I got my little green thing in over here. What do you call that? Scrunchy with a ribbon. My brain is suddenly broken <laughs> because I only slept like three hours. Yeah, but I am currently working on a mocha, ice mocha with an extra espresso shot in it to uh, amp me up. But today, the reason I'm awake is we are going to go adopt a kitty for Miss Lila. We are going to get Mimi a little sister. So that is the plan today, and we're gonna go kind of get her settled in and all that kind of stuff. It's gonna be a fun little day, hopefully. I'm, I'm excited. I like kitty cats, and I like animals, so any chance I get to play with some animals, especially kitty cats, I'm a, well, kitties, puppies, any, it, okay, any animal. <sighs> the way I die is gonna be me trying to pet a wild animal. I mean, I like animals, okay? Everything is cute, and I want to give it kissies. Doesn't, doesn't matter what it was. There's like these really cute lizards that come out here at night around my house and they're like kind of pinky flesh colored. Like they're weird colored, but their little faces are so cute. They look like little Lisa Frank lizards and I want to give them little kisses and love on them, but they run away from me every time. But I did make a turtle friend. Um, well, he didn't really want to be my friend so much as I was like, you're going to be my friend. And I squatted down and talked to him for a minute. But he was not interested in me. He just kind of tucked his little head in his shell. But he come up in the yard and I was like, oh my god, a turtle. I've never seen a turtle up close like that. Like, they never come up in the yard. Honestly, I don't think I've... I've seen, like, pet turtles. I've never seen, like, this one wild, like, wonder up. And he was so cute. It just adorable. But, uh, yeah, anyway, that is the plan today. And then tomorrow, me and my sister are going to go get our nails done. And we're going to get pedicures. Because we are feeling fancy and like treating ourselves so yeah i got a little kind of i uh, guess a fun weekend and i'm gonna get myself back on my day schedule that's for sure so yeah i'm just like outside right now because it feels nice and i was just editing some pictures and pilling around on my phone 
and drinking my coffee and uh, yeah just come here it's quieter without the funny and trying to chit chat with me while I vlog <laughs> she likes to grab her toy and squeak the second I pick the camera up and start talking because she thinks I'm talking to her so uh yeah anyway I feel like I take a nap go to bed pretty early I'm curious to see how these cream products perform with very lightly lightly set like just barely in the t-zone powder <laughs> and a mask because uh before I'd power the shit out of my face when I was wearing a mask or I just didn't wear any foundation so we'll see how it goes I wanted to put a little bit of my age perfect on because I just want to even things out because you know the tanner fades off your neck quick your face quicker than your body I need to even things out a bit so yeah I love how there's like a broom in my background classy that's my, that's my outside broom for when they mow and there's grass and yucky up here because I hate I'm allergic <laughs> so I have to like get away from my my hangout spots but anyway, yeah, I'm going to put my shorts on because I'm currently just in my PJ bottoms. And I am wearing the same shirt as last time you saw me. But I only wore it to film and then took it right back off. So it's still clean. Uh, but yeah, that's the plan today. And I will uh, try to vlog a little bit and kind of get some clips. We'll see. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Air conditioner's loud, sorry. Kitty cat adopted. Yay! Oh, I'm so shiny. Oh my goodness. Yeah, look at the kitty. And she's so sweet. She is a cuddle butt. So I'm sitting in the car to cool it off. And Lila is getting her in the carrier right now. We're gonna bring her home. Get her all adjusted. Hopefully Mia is okay with her. Ooh, makeup. Oh, well, let's stick all over my chin. That's about right. That's from lunch. We had, what do you call them? Spring rolls. Vietnamese spring rolls. So, yeah. We started to go to Chili's, but it was packed. So, yeah, not today. Yeah. We are acquiring uh, Kitty right now. I think about to take her home. I did get pumpkins and toys while I was in there. And uh, Pet Smart. We're at Petco. <laughs> but it's with a local animal charity called Sinla Cat Project and they take in and foster kitties and then they do an adoption fair and it's so thorough and you can check up with them throughout the year. It's a fantastic program. But I got pumpkin. This little thing. It's got rubber she can work on and keep her busy. And I got her little busy bee right here. These are puppy toys but pumpkin's small. It just has like a ball in it. She can work on getting out. I like to get her busy toys that she can occupy her and it gives her something to do and play with. Because if a toy is too easy to tear up or get the squeaker out, she loses interest really fast because she pulls the squeaker out, she's done. But these, I think, can occupy her a while. She likes a good toy she can sit there and like work on for a bit. But other than my lipstick being smudged from my mask, I think uh, the makeup held up not bad. Just pretty shiny, obviously, because I barely powdered. So, yeah, kitty time. What you got there? <laughs> What's that? What you got? You got your bunny? You getting it? Huh? You eating your bunny? Is it fun? Lots of chewing activities? Your ears all goofy. <clears throat> you got the goofy ear. Oh, ooh. All right, 
and we are back home and it is very hot <laughs> but i'm about to head to bed i just wanted to check in real quick it's kind of late in the day I mean, it's still sunny obviously and oh i had a little mascara transfer there and squinting because it's bright but anyway cats are happy they're they're scared of each other but the little new kitty sony pebbles is hiding under the couch but she got out and explored but she we made a noise and she hit her on the couch but if you put your hand under she loves on you and wants to play and her little six her foot out trying to get stuff so she's she's getting comfortable mia on the other hand she come out she didn't know the cat even was here she come out there eating a little treat and, da, 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 and she saw something under the couch caught her eye and she's like who the hell is this and she just stared at lila for about five minutes like how dare you bring another cat into my house and then she just went and sat in the bedroom <laughs> so they they're not hating each other they're just uh kind of scared of each other right now and yeah i think they'll adjust just fine though so they're not hissing at one another so i mean it's the best you could hope for and miss pumpkin is loving her new toys she got her little bunny and her bee and she is having a blast and okay so update on that um skin glass balm stuff from elf it does feel sticky like later today as you get oily it gets kind of sticky feeling but it didn't bother me like my hair didn't feel like it was getting stuck to it so it's okay you know i can deal with it but the soap brow business the little pomade that comes with the glitter i don't give a shit about the glitter but that pomade look at these brows they well ignore that because i laid down for a second and <laughs> smushed against the pillow but they're holding up really well way better than the previous belt brow pomades i've tried so i'm happy with that and i feel like it'll last me a while but anyway i was thinking about soaking my nails off tonight and doing all that and i bought acetone and stuff to do that while i was out and about but then i'm like i'm tired and i'm just gonna do it at the salon tomorrow maybe they can do that i can be soaking off while i'm getting my feet done two birds one stone two birds stoned at once right yeah, I think that's going to be the plan. Uh, yeah, I was talking to my dad for a little bit. <laughs> he went to go look at a house today. And while he was at the showing, the house sold. <laughs> or went under contract, like, immediately. And it had been listed a day. That's how crazy the real estate market is here right now. Like, it, as soon as it's the market, it's gone. And this must have been, like, a great, like, cash offer because it went off the market right then. And he said he wasn't real happy with it anyways. Like, the yard was ridiculously small. He's like, you could stick your hand out the window and touch the house next to you. And it was, he says, you know, new development and beautiful. But he's like, it's just so cramped. And it was a really convenient location, though. It was, was literally right down the road from me. So he said, I'm just going to keep looking. We're going to keep looking. And I honestly haven't found any other houses I've been interested in. I've been kind of keeping my eye open for, like, a mid-century one not much not much out there really or a nice new construction i want one of the two either a nice mid-century home that has been redone and restored rather not redone i want it restored or in pretty new construction that's not covered in shiplap and doesn't look dark and warm tones and earthy tones that doesn't look like a olive garden a lot of houses around here just look like Olive Garden. <laughs> like like the decor style. <laughs> you feel like you walked into an Olive Garden or like a restaurant. It's it's kind of dated. Very dated. Trends take about 10 years to get here, I swear, before they start getting implemented. Like you're just now seeing like a marble countertop in a kitchen. Just now. But they jumped on that ship lap real fast because country. <sighs> anyway. The farmhouse stuff's always been popular here. And the, the McMansion look, you know, of those cheaply made huge homes that are money pits, basically, because they are made of just pieces of garbage, apparently, and they just fall apart. I've had quite a few, like, friends and relatives and stuff buy these newer homes that are big and beautiful and great price and, you know, all, everything brand new. And it's been nothing but, like, one thing after the other. We've been lucky with ours because ours is, is one of those too. It's a new, newer home. Uh, I think it was built in 2014 at this point. We had it built or we bought from the contractor, you know, got to pick all this stuff. 
and we've only had minor issues like the AC need replacing because they used a really shit cheap 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 AC unit and um, we have some trouble with our driveway washing out because they didn't pack the soil very well or the the dirt because they just dump a bunch of red dirt in and yeah but that's really the only problems we've had aside from we ripped the carpet up because the carpet was already kind of coming up because it wasn't installed very well and I think my washer and dryer hookups are backwards <laughs> but um that and we've had like some minor like electrical issues with just uh, wiring not being the right voltage for the fixture they installed that type of thing so it blows bulbs like just little stupid shit like that like some of our hardwire lighting uh, the bulbs blow constantly and we've had an electrician come and look at it and he's like oh just buy these types of bulbs I'm like yes but th that doesn't fit in that particular fixture it has to have tiny bulbs <sighs> and it's a ceiling fan so I just d gave up replacing light bulbs in my bedroom as far as um, the uh, overhead and there's a few of them that just burn out constantly and I'm just like you know what we just not gonna have a light there I don't need it and then some of them work perfect I've never had to change them out especially the ones that we've had installed after the fact <laughs> the the bathroom the fan in the office we installed later on because we we're in there a lot and it gets hot because we got two computers running and all that you know that room I don't think the light bulb has ever been changed in there and it has worked perfectly I just don't have great luck with electricity or uh, card readers <laughs> I've struggled everywhere I went today with the card reader like I don't the last like two months I have had nothing but trouble at checkouts with the card reader and I'm like I think it's got to be me and so I thought my card was malfunctioning one of my cards had my credit card or my, my debit card so it wouldn't it wasn't processing payments when I would go to check out and it would just throw like an error and then it would lock me out and I'll let me use it okay so Ross gave me the other card for his account for that same account because he had one too this is a joint account that card he never set the pin up on because he never used it because I was the only one using that account so I went to go check out with it well there's no pin so I'm like why isn't your normal pin working because he's like oh it's probably the same one as the other my other debit card no he never even set the pin up so he had to come in thank gosh he's in the parking lot or with me when all this happens <laughs> because yeah so and today I had just our regular debit card we always use and there was error both times I checked out one was actually the machine their uh, little chip reader thing was wonky and you have to put a business card behind it to get it to fit right and then at Walmart it messed up and I had to they had to do the payment twice I'm like, why and it happened at the grocery store the other day it happened at the mail salon so frustrating that being said enough fussing about my credit card bank card debit card issues <sighs> so frustrating though because it's like every time what like am I am I just breaking debit cards what's wrong with me did I break the machines <sighs> anyway can you tell how hot I am I am glistening but I've been out here talking to my dad on the phone so that's mine because my husband just went to bed and I didn't want to make noise uh, because he's trying to get back on this day schedule because he goes back on days and he's got to go to a class Tuesday. So he's going to work eight days straight this time, which sucks. But I figured I would be ready to crash by now and I'm, I'm not really. So I'm probably just going to lay down and read, fall asleep then, and I'm going to wash my face and stuff. <sighs> I really like to take a shower, but I don't want to make noise. But yeah, I wanted to go ahead and remove my nails because I'm having a lot of lifting on this nail. And then this one, there's lifting. And also, they're all different shapes and sizes. I don't know what was going on with the nail tech this time. I've, some of them are sloping like this. I mean, I am only paying like $30 to get them done, but still. I know that they do better work. And I'm like, what happens? There were so many like, shapes and shaping errors and stuff that I fixed myself and then redid the paint. <sighs> happen why and then they're all lifting today and it's only happens when I have this one particular person do my nails that I have this issue so I'm gonna get my normal dude tomorrow hopefully 
but I'm just going to start fresh and soak these off because I don't like the way that they look or feel. Like, I mean, look at these. Look at them. I know that they're grown out, obviously, and this is only two weeks growth, and I've already got like, what, probably about four millimeters growth. My nails grow really fast. I really could do a fill like every week and a half, weekly almost, because my nails are just insane, apparently. But they're shitty, and they break, <laughs> so that's why I have the acrylic over them. Like, my natural nails suck at the same time. They're really thin. They've gotten better since I started taking vitamins, but still they're not great. But yeah, I mean, look, look how uneven they look and stuff. Like, what what even is this? It, it, it was, like, embarrassing. And then I just went home and, like, fixed issues. But, like, I don't know if you can, like, see the banana slope we got going on here. Or, like, on this one. Where it's going, whoop, like this. Like, you got your apex, you know, right here. But then the nail is concave and coming up on the tip. And this one is filed so bizarrely. It's like filed at an angle. I'm like, what are you, are you trying to do a Russian almond? Like what, what's going on here? This was the Bisman soft almonds and they were, some of them were so blunt and fat and like round and some of them like skinny. They were just, it was like a different nail tick, did every nail. Like I could have done this myself. This is why I don't do it myself because I don't want nails that look like this. I'm not that good at sculpting. I can file them, but I'm, I'm terrible at sculpting nails. Well, I can do one hand, but the other hand, and I'm too lazy to sit there and file for an hour because I don't want to use an e-file on myself because that's scary. Anyway, okay, that's enough rambling for today. I think I'm going to end this vlog here and start a new one tomorrow <laughs> because this one's going to be kind of long and rambly because I had a lot to talk about, apparently, and I'm kind of tired now, and yeah, that is all for today in this week's vlog. And I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe and stay spooky.